Namaste. This is Shobha Rao Smile Maker here, creating smiles with this video to inform you about our coastal city of Karnataka, Mangalore, starting with an M, which is very different from Bangalore, starting with a B. So welcome to memorable Mangalore. This coastal city of Karnataka has nine different names like Mangaluru in Kannada, Kudla in Tulu, Khodial in Konkani and more. You can reach here by air on the rare tabletop runway or by road amidst amazing greenery. You can enjoy nature as you arrive by the glass top Vista Dome train. You can come here by international cruise ships or take a boat ride on the river. Mangalore has a rare honor of being surrounded by the Western Ghat hill station scenery on one side, attractive beaches of the Konkan coast on the other side, and Netravati and Gurpur rivers in the middle. The city center, called Hampankatta, has an ancient well, town hall, Nehru ground, clock tower, offices, malls, excellent hospitals and educational institutions, and many banks which had originated here. Are you aware that the first female freedom fighter of India is Rani Abakka, who battled against the Portuguese at the Mangalore fort? What remains now is a Sultan Bathari watchtower, which was also used by Tipu Sultan to store artillery. It is believed that Lord Parashurama had prayed to Lord Shiva at what is now the famous Khatri Temple of Mangalore and he had reclaimed this coastal land from the sea. Snake worship at Naga Banas is common here, with powerful snake temples like Kudupu or Subramanya. A unique ritual called Naga Mandala is considered very auspicious to attend. Religious tourism draws people to the many ancient temples here with their distinct architectural style and traditional festive rituals. Watch Manglo City brighten up during the grand Navaratri celebrations with Devi idols taken out in long processions with live music, dancing, tableaus, costumes and especially the unique tiger dance performances. Attend a Bhuta Kola, which is a colourful spirit worship ritual with song and dance involving all communities. The firecracker show here is usually put up by the Biari Muslim community members who are descendants of the first century Arab traders here. Watch the fishermen's activity around the port area or visit one of the oldest mosques of the country. There are many beautiful churches here too. The fresco paintings at the Aloysius Chapel are breathtaking. The missionaries have contributed greatly to the development of Mangalore in areas like education, printing press, coffee curing, tile making and more. The Kadri Park or the Pilikula Nisargadama are worth a visit. The artisan's village keeps alive the traditional skills of talented local craftsmen. The remodeled Guttumane showcases the ancient lifestyle in community homes. Walk on the streets of Mangalore to see new swanky apartments or ancient homes, both next to each other. Do try the varieties of tasty local vegetarian or fish speciality items here for your breakfast, lunch or snacks. A visit to Ideal Ice Cream for Gadbad and other ice creams should be on your to-do list. Have a toddy drink, cheer up in the many bars, or relax as a guest in the clubs of Mangalore. Watch local sports like Kambala, where bulls race on muddy tracks, or even watch cockfighting. Play the ancient game of Channe Mane, or go for your Yakshagana performance where artists do their own makeup. Shop for brass, copper items, spices, pickles, palm jaggery, rare jackfruit or mango items, saris, and more. Attend a detox course at the many naturopathy, yoga or Ayurvedic centres here. Yeah. Admire the local private bus operators who work efficiently with precision timing in spite of the hot and humid weather. 
Do make day trips around Mangalore for pilgrimage temple sites, thuru museum, trekking or water adventure sports. There is so much to discover here in Mangalore, which is a unique blend of rich ancient culture along with modern amenities. I am sure you are now inspired to visit Mangalore and smile. See you here soon. Thank you.